Academy Award for performance in Winter, Winter's Bone. The film has been nominated for Best Picture as well. Please welcome Jennifer Lawrence. <laughs> Nice to meet you. Hey, nice to meet you. First time in. Now, tell us about yourself. Where are you from? I'm from Louisville, Kentucky. Okay, Louisville, Kentucky. Well, I've been down there, sure. I know, I know. We're You're talking about that. Oh, right, meet. Sorry, you... see? Oh, no. I'm, I'm Shelbyville Road. Are we lying? Sorry. <laughs> no, no, no. We, well, we met, we met today yeah. for the first time. Okay, sorry. Big family? <laughs> yeah, very big family. Yeah. Well, maybe average. Okay, how many, I don't know. How many brothers and sisters do you have? Um, I've got, th I've got two brothers. I was about to count myself as a brother. Right, yeah, <laughs> I was like, right. I've got three brothers counting myself. Now, where do you fit in? <laughs> Um, I'm the baby. You're the baby. Yeah. yeah. She's always the baby that goes into show business. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, we're starved for attention. Which, by the way, you are the most interesting person. I was oh, in the dressing room going, I want weird quirks. And I'm like trying to come up with like all sorts of things. You, you can when he was trying to get you to step in, you're like, I can't, I can't. And I'm like in my dressing room going, that's so cool. Yeah. He can't step on the floor. Now, do you have any weird quirks or are you normal? No, I just can't walk upstairs. I always fall every time. I, I actually have a bruise on my leg. You can't walk From upstairs. Wa yeah, every time I, I, I was trying to think, because in the dressing room, of course, attention whore going, I've got to have a quirk. I've got to have a quirk. Jesse has one. I have to have one. Right, okay. And then I was like, and then I'm like, I, um, I eat everything on my plate. Um, okay. I fall every time I go upstairs. Well, tell me about the stairs thing. Okay, what a, say you're in an escalator and the power goes out. I think are, I just are you get stuck there for hours? To to I think I think I just get I think it's like uh <laughs> I just fall. I don't think it's anything as cool as you. Yeah, yeah. It shouldn't even be compared. But yeah. So when did you start acting? The first time you fell down the stairs? <laughs> first time I fell down the stairs, I was like, I have to prove myself as okay. a person and become an actress. I started acting when I was about fourteen. Okay. In Kentucky. Um, no, I did. Well, actually, I was in some church plays in Kentucky. Okay. Uh, yeah. I was a, um, a prostitute in Jonah and the Whale. Or so, I'm going to have to go back over my Bible references. Wait a minute. Hang on. What, what, hang on. <laughs> what church play has a... I mean, I was in a, a prostitute. I was like nine, but I was like in a feather boa. What church and play was... has a 14-year-old <laughs> prostitute? Oh, I, think, I don't think so. I think I just must remember my mom saying that. I remember my mom seeing the feather boa going, what are you, a prostitute or something? Oh. So now I'm in my head going, yeah, my first role was as a prostitute. I was wow, nine. You, you take suggestions very well. So yeah. what's... Uh, okay. Now, were your parents supportive? Did they think this was a good idea, going into show business? Um, they, well, they kind of gave me a shot because they were hoping I would just kind of fail and get it out of my system. and then They were I hoping you would fail. Yeah, <laughs> go, go get them. <laughs> fail. Um, no, we, went, we, wow, no we went to New York when I was like uh, 14 just okay. for the summer to try it because my mom thought I would get it out of my system and she okay. would have never let me do it if she had thought I would be successful. Sorry. Oh, okay. Um, oh, wow. Yeah, and then I ended up you know, becoming successful. So now they are. They're very supportive. So now they're supportive. Yeah. Okay. okay. So you made the trend. You moved to L.A. from Louisville. I did. Okay. How's yeah. that working for you? All right? Yeah. Is yeah. it in okay nice, here? Yeah. Okay. Now, someone told me you had trouble driving. After, after hearing <laughs> oh, you, gosh, not being able to go upstairs, driving would seem like a moonshot at this point. You what? I say after not being able to walk upstairs, driving a car must be like the moonshot. <laughs> I, mean, I know. It's, it should be easier. But, yeah. No, I got on a, I got on a four-car pileup, and I was like 16 okay. on my second week of driving, and I was miraculously the only person that it wasn't, like, it wasn't my fault. But I still minute, remember. Minute, I know I can't. I don't know how to explain that either. Okay. You're in a far car pile up, and you're the only one who's fault. <laughs> I, I was the only innocent one, and okay. I trust me, I milked that. Yeah. Um, yeah, but I still remember the phone call with like the 911 woman, and she said, she said, has anybody been injured? And I said, I'm so hungry. <laughs> and, and then, um, and then they said, she, she asked me if it was a car accident, and I remember just instantly feeling like I was in trouble, and I was like, yes, it was an accident. I thought she meant, like, did you do this on purpose, or right. was this an accident? So that, yeah, that's my drive. Yeah. Do you want to go, I hear you got great cars. Do you want, can I uh, buy You're not getting anywhere near my cars. No, you're not getting anywhere near my cars. Uh, are you good with technology and that kind no. of thing? Do you, can no. you work your GPS and all that in your car? Oh, well, I have a GPS and yeah. I named him, but I actually have a crazy GPS story. If we... Okay, what happened to your GPS? I had an Australian GPS guy because I was single and was kind of, you know, wanted to listen to an Australian well, hang on, hang guy. Hang on. Okay, so, okay. Well, so your car, what kind of car was it? Do you remember? Um, my first car was like a black Acura RSX. Oh, now so an Acura, and, 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 and the guy on the GPS boy, like, turn left. He was, turn left? He was Australian. Yeah, mate. Okay. Yeah. Okay, okay. I don't think he said mate. I think that might have just been daydreaming. Yeah, but okay. anyway, his name was Marcel. Yeah. And, um, and we got in this huge fight one day, and I was just like, you're never there when I need you. You're unreliable. It's like you're drinking all day. And I was, like, pointing at his screen, going, I'm going to punch you in the screen. I'm going to throw you in the bathtub. I'm getting a new car. You're, I'm done. 
and then I turned it off, and the next time I turned it on, I swear, I wouldn't lie on television. Yeah. I'm not a politician. Um, and... <laughs> okay. so, Sorry. So the next time... Anyway, anyway, don't clap, because it makes it seem like I said something profound. Um, anyway, but uh, the next time I turned it on, it was just, it was an American woman. Like, Marcel up and left. Wow. So the... He was just like... That's so the, the Australian that. guy left Yeah, we got in a huge system. fight, and he broke up with me, and it still scares me. Like, every yeah. once in a while, I'm driving, looking at my GPS, going, are you watching me? Yeah. Um, <laughs> can you wait till the audience leaves before you drive out tonight? <laughs> so who are you taking? Is your, is your whole family going to the Oscars? Is everybody coming? I think that's the plan so far. All the folks in Kentucky. Get, yeah. I know. I'm going to need at least 40 to 45 <laughs> tickets. <laughs> well, you know how many tickets? You only get, like, two, don't you? I know. One? I know. So I who are you going to take? How do you decide? Gosh, I don't know. Um, maybe card game. Split the, I don't know. I've got, I'm going over options right now. now. How about the? You went to the Golden Globes, right? I did. And yeah, you, I did you meet any idols? Because you're you're 20 now, right? 20 years old. Yeah. That's pretty good to get a nomination. So, who did you see there? Any any like acting idols that you got a chance to meet for the first time? Um, I I met Jeff Bridges, who is I oh, love okay. him so much. My yeah. nickname is Jeff Bridges. Your nickname um, is Jeff Bridges. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh. I, because I quote him all the time from like my big Lebowski and, um, <laughs> and, um, yeah, I saw him and then I just totally choked. And you know when you're in the, you're about to have a conversation yeah. and then you just go, and I just got out of there before and I And what did you it. say? Did you tell him you couldn't walk upstairs? You didn't mention I, that. I was like, hi, Jeff, I can't walk upstairs. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, I, I think I started to introduce myself and then I, and then I just kind of, like Marcella, just up and left. Yeah, okay. Before I made a fool okay. of myself. Now, Winter's Bone, I, I talked about this, because this is what I love. This is like the sort of the classic American dream thing. A little low-budget film. Quickly, tell people what it's about, and we'll show a clip. Um, it is about a young girl living in the Ozark Mountains that has to find her father amidst a drug-ridden family. Okay, take a look here at Winter's Bone. You know your daddy's out on bond, don't you? So what? Looks like he's been cooking again. I know, that's the charges you laid on him, but you ain't proved it on him. You gotta prove it every time. Well, that won't be no hard thing to do. But that ain't even why I'm here. His court date's next week, and I can't seem to turn him up. Maybe he sees you and ducks. It could be. But where you all come into this is, he put this house here and your tin breakers up for his bond. He what now? Jessup signed over everything. Now, if he doesn't show a trial, see, the way the deal works is, y'all gonna lose this place. You got some place to go? I'll find him. Girl, I've been looking. I said I'll find him. Film is out now on DVD and on Blu-ray. Congratulations. Thank Good luck. You. Good luck at the Oscars. We're right back with music from Ryan Bingham and the Dead Horse. Good job, gentlemen. Thank you, guys. Good to see you again, man. It was great. Thank you so much. I want to thank my guests, Jesse Eisenberg, Jennifer Lawrence, and Ryan Bingham. Uh, tomorrow night, Jeff Bridges will join us. Jimmy Fallon happening right now. See you tomorrow.